Good evening, and welcome to another episode of My Favorite Game, Fishing Planet. This is your host, Mizzou Fan Mike Gaming, and tonight we're going to be checking out some um, uh, a venue that a lot of people don't talk about, and um, um, I think it's important that we understand sometimes the progression for newer players and even some of the older players. Um, as much as we know, we'll share with you. And so um, just wanted to let you know that uh, we did get a new bike and we're instituting some new things around here, here at Mizzou Fan Mike Gaming. And hopefully we're going to uh, be able to serve our uh, subscribers better, produce more quality videos. Uh, we'll soon be on live uh, Twitch and also YouTube, as well as uh, we'll be videoing and that kind of thing. But tonight we're going to be uh, searching um, around here on the planet, as I call it, and um, we're going to be talking about several things in regards to some of the levels of these lakes and things. But one of the main lakes we're going to be looking at tonight is Lesney Villa Fishery in the Czech Republic. Now it is over in Europe and it is a European lake. Uh, however, it's overlooked a lot because it is a level three lake. And as you can see here, it says it's a level three lake. It is over in Europe. And if you go along here and look around here, one of the very first lakes you start out here is Lone Star in Texas. You'll notice that Lone Star in Texas is a level two lake. Um, we do encourage people to stay, uh, new, new players to stay at Lone Star till you get around eight to 10, level eight to 10. It's real easy to level up there. It's free to go there. And uh, so therefore it's all uh, putting money and experience in, in the bank for you. Um, however, after you get to about 11, uh, level eight, we encourage you to go to uh, the a level 10 lake. I mean, level eight lake, which is Emerald Lake. Um, it is uh, level eight, as you can see. Um, and then stay there till you're around level 14 or 15. Um, however, however, I say all that to say this, that there is a lake in the middle there. There is two or three lakes, actually. But Leslie Village, uh, Villa Fishery over in Czechoslovakia is, is a lake that is overlooked a lot. And as you can see here, it is only 120 to travel there. And also, uh, I have a unlimited license, but the... One day license are only $120 as well. And so, you know, you're talking about $240 uh, to fish a day there. And uh, there are there is some good fishing there. Um, we're going to fish this day. I'm going to try to catch several species here for you real quick and show you how easy it is to catch. You're not going to make it rich here in um, uh, Leslie Villa Fishery in Czechoslovakia. However, um, you can catch northern pike, young northern pike, which pay fairly well and several types of carp. Uh, if you also look up here on your screen in the missions, there is a mission here while you're there that you can do. It's called Leslie Vela Exploration. Um, if you, while you're here, if you choose to do this, um, this mission, you can receive uh, a thousand coins, I mean a thousand uh, in-game dollars, um, one coin and a monoliter 0.006. Um, and when you're a newer player, that's good. That's good cash. And seeing that it only costs you 240 to get there, uh, this is a good payoff if you complete this while you're here. Um, as you can see here, it says catch European perch, silver brim, Persian carp, and common roach. But we're going to catch. Um, we're going to try to catch real quick as many of these fish as we possibly can. And I'm going to show you some things that I'm doing here to help out and. Um, show you all the species if we possibly can. I don't want to make this very long. I'm going to try to start cutting my videos back some. So, and if we have to, we'll break them up some. Um, but this is a, like I said, this is an overlooked fishery because it is level three. So it's in progression there. It's right after Texas. Um, it gives you a little different scenery uh, as well as uh, different types of fish to catch. Um, Let's go over here to our inventory tonight, and I want to show you a few things that we're going to do here 
a couple of rod combinations that we're going to use. One of them is the Creek Pro 710. Now, it is actually a feeder rod. However, you can use a sinker. I use a half ounce sinker on it. And as you can see, on the Crick Pro 710, I also use a Windcast 2500, <coughs> excuse me, which allows, uh, allows me, it's a, uh, gives me 11 ounce weight there, uh, 6.4 max drag, along with that um, 6.5 line weight on that one makes it almost a perfect match. Now, I know there's other lines of thinking, but as you become a newer, when you're a newer player, if you want to get the best performance out of the reel and rod and the most XP, as well as the most uh, in-game cash, you want to try to match your rods and reels up. Uh, this will set you back a little bit. Um, I'm not going to show you the prices of this tonight. However, I will say that it will set you back a little bit, but these are rods that you can use in a lot of the lower lake levels and some of the others and do some of the competitions as well as um, missions. Um, as you can see, we're putting on 006 aught, six pound braided. It's green with a half ounce sinker. We're also gonna put a titanium leader, which is a seven pound titanium leader. Um, hook, we're going to use one aught, and the reason why we're going to use uh, one aught tonight is we don't want to catch a lot of the little bitty ones, so I'm going to try to keep them bigger. We're also going to use night crawlers, and we're also going to put an extra um, sensitive, high sensitive um, bell on it. Now, we will be using tonight a rod stand, a four, uh, rod, uh, four rod rod stand. We will be using that, and as you can see, I put another hole set up the same way except I'm using centipedes. However, guys, on this, you can use other baits such as bread. Um, you can catch a lot of these bread and honey. Uh, dough balls, these are all early game uh, level baits that you can get. Now, maybe not the bread and honey, but the dough balls, the bread, marshmallows. Uh, pea balls are later on, but uh, semolina balls, sweet corn, Sweet peas, however, you can use just the sweet, I mean, the corn and the peas. I chose the sweet corn and peas because I think they perform a little better. Centipedes, that's a little bit later on. It's a bait that's offered a little later on, but it came out right after the European lakes were launched. So it's kind of funny that they stuck some of these European lakes in between some of the earlier lakes in development. We also are going to keep bringing leeches, which you can use at Emerald to catch walleye. Walleye is, um, uh, they bite a lot on uh, leeches. I'm gonna bring some maggots, night crawlers, red maggots, pinkies, uh, red worms, yellow maggots. But I can tell you this, that these lower level baits, you can use these and catch a lot. You can catch a lot of these just on the bread. So, and they're, um, you get a lot more for the money and, um, you know, you can catch a lot of fish that way. So I have two sets of them. Uh, I also set up a couple of other rods that are a little higher level rods. <coughs> Excuse me tonight. Um, these are the lowest bottom rods that you can get, the cheapest bottom rods you can get. They're a little cheaper than uh, the, the, the heavy chasers. Uh, this is, they're called bottom snipers, 910s. As you can see, the line weight is 10 to 31 pounds. Um, as you can see, the Xperia Double Punch 6500 has a 28.6, which matches this uh, rod pretty pretty easily, 31, 28.6. Um, so I'm using that reel. We're putting on this tonight uh, Braid 007, which is 26.6 pounds, which fairly matches it. We're using the Carp Camouflage Sinker, three ounce. That's probably a little bigger than what we need, um, but I just had these already, so I'm gonna use these. You could also go with a half ounce sinker. Uh, would probably work better. I am using titanium liters on here at 26 pounds. We're gonna use a one aught hook like I told you before. I am going to put the night crawlers on and the bells. I have two set setups with these and two setups with the others. Night crawlers work really well here and red worms. And red worms is something you can get earlier in the game. So they will help. Um, 
Uh, also, too, we the blood worms they say works really well, and it doesn't look like we brought any blood worms, so that's my bad. But um, I don't think we're going to need them tonight. Anyway, that's the setups for that. I also am bringing a featherweight seven rod. It goes from one sixteenth of an ounce to a two fifth ounce. The reason for this rod is I want to use this lure, and it's a three eighths ounce number one odd hook walker. It's the matte acid tiger, which is yellow and green is what I call it. And th this is the only lighter rod that you can use that will accommodate the, because most of these feather lights are quarter ounce max. This one will allow us to put two fifths ounce, which it will um, comfortably throw this three eighths uh, lure. So that's the reason for this setup. This is a little bit farther up in the ranking. For a rod, but this here you can get in the tens, double digits, you can get this rod uh, as a new player. Um, I am also brought my Night Feather Gold, but as you can see it only does a three quarter ounce. We might throw it, we might not, de depending on if we need it. Now this is my floating setup. This is a uh, lower level re rod and reel. This is the Omni Float 11.5. It's a three to six point five pound rod. Um, I also use a, a Callisto MG2500, which is a 7.7 .7 pound reel. Um, and it's like I said, an earlier level uh, reel and rod set up. I also put on a six pound test with a chubby bobber. I also do put a, a titanium leader at seven pounds. Hook, I'm using one odd again, and we're going to put pinkies on this. We may try to throw this we may not it just depends a lot of times on this we want to go deeper which was it's about 98 inches um, <clears throat> but we might play with that too a little bit but what i wanted you to understand is you might say well i've heard that i don't need leaders um, if you fish if you fish a lot and especially after you get past the first couple of lakes one of the reasons why i'm using leaders on this lake is because we have uh, young northern pike northern pike have teeth uh, I've seen a lot of my friends on Fishing Planet, as well as I have experienced a lot of line breaks, which means the the pike or the fish have broke the line because they've bitten through the line. <coughs> so if you use uh, braided line, spend a little bit more money and buy the braided line, it's more productive, especially in the younger, earlier stages uh, of your trips here at Fishing Planet. And then I, I just have a um, personal preference of mine to use the titanium leaders. And the reason for that is I just don't want my line bitten through uh, and lose a good fish. Now, I, let me explain something else to you about the, the, the titanium leaders for just a minute. As you look at this titanium leader, um, you'll see that this is a titanium leader 0 0.0085. It is a 26 pound titanium leader. However, what you want to look at here, it's a 0.82 length. See that? Uh, I can't really show it to you. Hold on here. Yeah, I can't show it to you. But as you can see down there, the, the diameter or the length is 0 0.82. You want to use the shorter length leaders on your rods or your bottom rods or your floaters. Okay. Now, when it comes to your... Um, these kind of rods where you're casting lures and stuff, you want to use a point, I mean, 1.64 length. The reason for that is that that leader is 1.64 inches. It follows the, it's right behind the lure that you're throwing. And if a, uh, a fish that has teeth goes to bite on it and it gets into the line, strikes early and gets to the line, it won't snap your lure off. Whereas if it's getting right into the line, if it's one of those shorter ones, it, it can very well, I've lost lures without leaders. So that's one of the reasons why I use that. Yes, it's a little bit more money. Sometimes it's worth it. I say this over and over again. When you buy these lures, even when you first start out, they're expensive because you have a budget because of, of the level you are. You wanna protect those because if it gets bit off, it's gone. 
you have to rebuy it or if it's one of those special lures that you'll start accumulating as you get older in your level or you get down the road and um, uh, you're able to purchase uh, certain lures at certain times of the year such as Christmas, 4th of July and all that. Well, those are those are the only times you'll get those lures. If you lose them and they're good producers, you won't have another chance to get them back until later on. If you lose a special lure, such as an X-Series, um, those kinds of lures, once they're gone, they're gone. You can't get them back. So you can't cry over spilt milk. So that's why I use them. It's a practice I've gotten into. Didn't necessarily use them when I first started out. The difference between now and then is back then they didn't have leaders. Now they do. So I do try to do that. I do try to stay away from the mono just because I think you can get by with them in the earlier lakes. However, you know, even at Missouri, which is a lower lake level, um, or uh, Colorado, those lakes, um, you can still lose lures. You can still get your lines bitten through. So just a good practice to get into. It's a suggestion. Um, whatever works for you works. It's like fishing's like a diet. What works for one person doesn't necessarily work for another person. But I will tell you that if you talk to good people who have had good experience, um, you'll be a better fisherman. It'll just help you be a better fisherman. Um, I do want to shout out to my buddy and friend, fishing buddy and friend, uh, Double Talk 73 If you've never been over to his channel on Twitch or you've never had the... Um, uh, opportunity to visit his YouTube channel, which is Double Talk, D U B L K 73. You'll be blessed if you get able to get over there. He has lots of videos posted and he gives out lots of good instruction and information. So um, he's one of those guys, that, and you'll have a good time while you're over there as well. He does sponsor a lot of competitions. Um, private competitions for his followers as well as giveaways and things like that so um, it just I just wanted to shout out to him tonight um, anyway this is Mizzou fan Mike gaming and if you like what you see or what you hear if you've learned anything anything at all please hit that subscribe button and give hit me a like on there on the videos and please feel free to get send us comments okay just keep them nice civil and uh, if there's information that you'd like to give me or suggestions one way or the other, I want to know. And I appreciate that. Um, but anyway, let's get to doing some fishing. I, I know we've talked for a little bit here, so let's get to doing some fishing. Like I said, the first initial uh, travel cost is $120. I think it's less than that if you stay for a day or two. You just go to the next morning, that kind of thing. So if you decide to stay here, let's look at a few of the fish we're going to catch today. There's the common carp. Um, it get, is only the youngs. There is the common roach, common and trophy. They're small fish. There's the European perch, common. There is the mirror carp, young. They get fairly big. There is the northern pike, young. And you also have the Persian carp. They have come in common and trophy. They're probably the mid-sized fish here. The silver bream, that's our brim. It's common and the tench, which is common. So those are the fish we're going to be looking for tonight. And so let's go. Let's go do some fishing. Um, you're not allowed to use boats here. So it just kind of keeps your boat in. If you've got your boat already in your in your um, um, setup, it'll just you just won't be able to use it here. OK, first place we're going to go here. I'm going to go on into a new friend's room. If you notice, we're fishing uh, day one. Day one is uh, peak. We're in a peak. We'll be in the peak till about 10. Then we'll be dropping off and that kind of thing. But that'll give us plenty of time to catch some fish. It's 5 a.m. It'll be a little slow at first. Um, we're going to spawn in at the other side. And so let's go. Hope you're having a good day or have a, having a good evening wherever you might be. And to all my fishing buddies out there, just wanted to say, I uh, hope you all are safe through this coronavirus. Um, please, please uh, know that um, we will get through this together, um, you know. And um, I know the mask thing is, is weird. I've had some family members get sick. I've known some friends that were got sick. So it is a real thing. Uh, to each his own, just wanted to throw that out there, that these mask things, I know they're tough. They're, they're a problem sometimes. 
but I, you know, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure at the end of the day. Um, but anyway, this is this is the the fishery, and I do use an Xbox One controller. I use it for a couple of different reasons. Um, one of the main reasons is it vibrates when I get a strike or I get a fish on. Um, the second reason why reason why I use it is because it um, um, it um, it's really nice and it's um, the, you don't have to work with a whole keyboard and that kind of thing. It's it's really concise and it, it's awesome. So here we are. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put down our rod stand and you see I've got a marker out there to the left. This is where we're going to start here casting out some rods. Um, if you don't have the ability, to, obviously if you don't have a rod stand, you can get a two rod stand, a one rod stand, or you can just use one pole. It doesn't matter at this point. Um, you're going to be able to catch them however you throw them out here. So let's throw them out here and see where we're at. We're just going to be in this vicinity because they will start biting however we throw them out here. Um, doesn't take a lot of rocket science here. We're going to throw this centipede out. Um, going to start out with these baits. We may change some baits up just so I can show you how well they work. Um, and we may have to move the time up just a little bit. I do want to use a lot of night crawlers because night crawlers is a universal bait and a lot of the different fish will hit the night crawlers. Um, after the sun kind of burns off the, the um, the haze and stuff and the fog, we'll go to look at, um, whoops, looks like we got a, a nibble. You'll get a lot of nibble action. You just got to kind of watch it. Watch your poles. Uh, looks like we got one on there. Um, let's go ahead and just throw this one out and we'll come back to that one. Uh, okay, it looks like we got a fish on here, number three rod. So we'll go back to number three and pick our rod up and see what we got. Yeah, sometimes it starts off real good. Sometimes it takes a little while for them to start biting. But the um, <clears throat> good thing about this is, is um, if you used all the other, the two first two rods we're using, um, you'll get the full thing on it. Now, there you go as a tench. 1.336. Okay, we, we won't look at that very long, but that's our tench. We've got our tench now. We've caught the tench. So, uh, like I said, you can catch these fairly easy. We're also going to get the, both the carps in here too. I think the young carp and then the the mirror carp, I believe. Uh, there you go. There's a young mirror carp. It's just that easy. Two pounds, 141 cash, 30 experience. You would get a lot more experience if you're using the smaller level rods. This is a medium level rod. It's the first bottom rod you can get. So, okay. So we'll throw this and back out over here. Kind of do a fan thing here from that to the right. I start off that way and then we'll go down a little bit and we'll to another spot and we'll fish that spot for a little bit if we still need to if we haven't caught all our fish yet. So we've caught two of the species so far. Um, we're at 23 minutes so guys I'm going to like I said I'm going to make this shorter but I do want to take and try to show you as many of the fishes as we possibly can here. For a little while, we're going to try to catch what we can, and I may do some editing of this video or whatever if it, they don't come in pretty quickly here. Um, as you can see, we're getting some, it sounds like a um, piano thing. It's like, you know, different different sounds from different rods, and it sounds like it's playing music. So, um, But um, one of the good things about these stands are, um, not only do you, you don't have to necessarily watch the line move if you stand back away from your rod stand to the side you can see where the the line goes through that little lever there and if the lever stays all the way up then there you have a fish on um, that's an easier way to watch them especially during the day now if you're fishing at night it's a little harder um, but it looks like we got another fish over here three fish and we've been at this for 20 minutes in game minutes and we've talked some of the time so 
um, when we first got here. So we're doing, not doing too bad, guys. Um, remember, if you have any questions or anything, make sure you leave some leave a comment for me. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you see anything you like or if I've been able to help you in any way. Um, this is a little different lake. It provides a little bit different uh, scenery. Um, it's, it's a little more opportunity than Texas. Texas is free, though. That's why most people tell you to stay there as long as you can because you will build your cash up. And trust me, as you go along, it gets harder for you to level up because it, it, you have to get more experience points as well as stuff is expensive. So you want to try to level up and get as much cash saved up as possible. You're not going to kill it here, but you're not at Texas neither. So it takes a you know long process to catch a lot of fish. Uh, we could go with a smaller hook, like a four, size four. You can go with a two, three, four, and you'll catch more fish because every one time of those little bites, <coughs> chances are those, excuse me, there those are s small fish just nibbling. Um, but, um, you know, you don't want to necessarily, um, you know, if you don't want to fool with all those and you're wanting to, you know, bag the money, then it's good to, to get the bigger fish, obviously. Okay, it looks like we got another fish on. And let's see what we got here this time. Uh, looks like we got another one working over there. Uh, hope you guys are all doing good today. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, uh, did some fishing, did some work, did a little bit of everything. We got, was able to go out some. And, all right, another tent. So we're, we've got two tents in the bag. So we're going to see what else we can get here. Anyway, um, so we have caught, we've caught, uh, looks like we've caught a tench, a young mirror carp, and two more tench. So we've had three tench and a mirror carp. So hopefully we'll um, get a common carp here to bite real soon. And um, this is a beautiful lake. I, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. Um, we're going to check this out for a minute and see what happens here. Um, one of the, they say on here, one of the best ways to get busy with your poles is to get a lure out and start throwing it while you're doing this. And unbearably, you'll get a bite or you'll get a fish on. Um, it's the same thing when I manage restaurants. If I wanted to get busy because my labor was too high, I'd just go get me something to eat. And it never failed that we'd start getting busy and my food would get cold. So, um, little tricks you can mess around with this um, I'm not saying it's absolute but uh, it's a good indication of something that uh, works sometimes anyway we're at 28 minutes and if you guys will hang in there with me for a little while longer I'd like to show you a couple of the other fish that we can catch uh, we need a young carp and I think a couple of others um, um, and then we can catch on the, the lure, the top water lure, we can catch the young pike as well as the yellow perch. Too. So sometimes we'll catch a yellow perch on this as well. Um, looks like we're getting a lot of nibbles, but nothing on there yet still. Like I said, a lot of these are smaller fish. Maybe I should have went with a smaller lure so you could have just seen all the fish. Um, but um, basically you can come out here. This is a good place. Uh, on down, there's another place that's a good place. The thing about this lake you're going to have to remember is, as you can see on here, this is the deep spot of it in the middle. So this is where that marker's at. You want to throw out in this deeper spot to get all your fish. So even if we go down a little ways here, this channel goes down a ways here. So you want to try to throw out in that and get out in that um, deeper area to catch these fish. Let's see here. Okay. Um, I'm going to bump the time up here a little bit because I'd like for... Oh, well, we can't do that right now. You have to have all your rods in to bump the time. So let me grab another rod here real quick and uh, see if we can't catch something else while we're waiting for a bite. Like I said, this is a good way to get some bites going. So hopefully. This here I do on a one retrieve. You want to do the walking where you get at least two 
uh, white dots up there. Okay, we've got another fish on. What did I tell you guys? It works almost every time. So it works almost every time. So I just leave it there and we'll bring this fish in and see what we have. Um, I uh, just wanted to shout out to you two guys um, on the 22nd. My business online direct marketing solutions is sponsoring the next competition that Double Talks having for the 22nd. We're doing Missouri, which is the show me state, which is my home state. Obviously, you know that I like Mizzou um, since my name is Mizzou Fan Mike, but we're sponsoring it. My business is. Um, if you'd like to know more about the business, I'm going to run a little commercial on YouTube. Um, we basically do all kinds of tech work, such as building websites, blogs, uh, e-commerce sites. We manage and maintain. We do a lot of social media marketing, manage, set up, and run, and teach social media, all the social media venues. Um, we also, also do editing videos. Uh, we help monetize channels. We help brand channels, uh, gamer channels. Uh, we do a lot of the work such as banners, different types of stuff like that. If you check out our videos, um, we do the banners. You can see some of the work we've done. Uh, if you check out our Facebook page, you can see a lot of the work we've done over there at Mizzou Fan Mike Gaming for gamers. Um, and uh, we're not the most expensive. We're not the cheapest. There's another tinch. Um, but we are, um, we do have a good following and we do good work. And I, I meet people where they're at, you know. So if you need help with that, um, have a lot of good ideas. Um, um, do, I try to, I've got hundreds of references from website builds and design to uh, editing videos to running social media teaching and training people, businesses, and like I said, gamers, streamers, live streamers, how to use those venues for their, for their, to, you know, to increase their following and eventually monetize their channel, that kind of thing. So, um, we are on Twitch. Um, we do have a channel. We host several channels right now. We haven't done any live streaming yet because I'm waiting on my camera again. For some reason, I guess because of the COVID and everything, Cameras are hard to come by, and I've been to five or six stores here in, in town and have not been able to find a camera. And so I had to order a camera, and I'm just waiting for it to come in. Um, but, um, ooh, that's a bite there, but got hung up as well. So, all right. But you will catch, we will catch uh, Northern Pike on this as well as um, the yellow perch as well sometimes, um, mainly the northern pike. And I was hoping I'd be able to show that to you real quick. Um, they're up here, trust me. They're all the way down. They're around the whole lake. I walked the whole lake earlier today, catching one here, catching one there. Um, but, uh, Anyway, um, if I can ever do anything for you, just check out. Our, we're on Facebook. Um, we're on um, Discord stream. We've got a Discord channel. Uh, I'm on Facebook with the business. On Facebook with my gaming channel um, page. Um, we're on YouTube with both. Um, and if I can ever help you with anything, please feel free to give me a call. You can text me. Send me an email, whatever you want to do, um, because the number that's on on there is good. Um, and I do welcome everybody to come out for the tournament on Saturday that are followers and active followers of DB. Because it is actually his channel, and it's for his followers. So, And I happen to be a follower of his, obviously, as everybody knows. So uh, it's for his followers that are active. They don't just come on the day of the morning of the competition and ask to come in and play. Um, you need to be somebody who's active on his channel that comes in, supports him, talks with him, interacts with him, that kind of thing. It can't just be somebody that pops in to win the tournament and then pops off and you never hear them from him again. Um, I understand that there's a lot of guys out there that just love the competitions. Well, there's lots of competitions you can do. 
put it this way and one you have to have a, a password for and that kind of thing okay what, what I'm going to do here real quick is I'm going to change up a bait here and see if that makes a difference real quick um, let's see if we can't get something else on here besides this and, and we'll do a smaller hook too probably should have did this originally but let's see what we can do whoops uh, I just wanted to use some of these things that maybe to show you that you can use some of your I love the graphics on here see the, the fog out there and see how nice and beautiful it looks there's a nice house over there with a lot of um, oh just a lot of pretty uh, scenery um, the graphics are good sounds are good just like being fishing um, and it's fun I'm trying to see if we can't get us one of those pikes real quick so I can show you that real quick but you can catch them all over the place it sounds like we had something bite but um, they're fun to catch Feel free to um, search on the planet, Fishing Planet. Uh, send me a friend request over there. If I don't have a 100 friends, I'll be more than happy to become your friend, fish with you. If you're on Discord, have no problem setting up a time to talk with you and fish with you and share any kind of information I can share with you. I don't mind to share information. I try to share you know, markers. Do anything I can to help you and make your experience better on Fishing Planet. Um, that's what I'm here for. I'm not necessarily here to um, for any other reason. I don't really feel like it's my personal, like I'm a personal fisherman and, you know, I don't want you to know what I know because then if you know it, then what I know doesn't mean anything because if I can pass it on and help somebody, that's it. Now, there's another thing we just caught. I went to the dough balls and look, we caught a common roach. So, so now we just need to catch the... I think there's one other a bream or something and then I think there's a um, young carp that we haven't caught and we haven't caught the the um, we haven't caught the um, young northern pike or the European uh, yellow perch so let's see where we're at here as, a, as it, the fog's clearing off as you can see it's a pretty uh, just like a nice early foggy morning. We've been fishing now for about an hour and 10 minutes. And you can see that uh, it is slower than some of the lakes, but you also have the same experience at some of the other lower level lakes too. Um, you don't catch a whole lot. Now, if you're an early player and you want to complete a mission, save these kind of things and get on there and... and um, do the mission that says uh, weeds, um, shore, and water weeds. You'll get, you know, if you catch all of them, um, you'll get rewards. Also, it does it for trash, and it also does it for, like, bark or sticks. Make sure you check those missions out. Um, there's another common roach. So, okay. Let's throw out here and see what we get. See what's out there. Okay, seriously, I'm going to try to see if I can get one of these pike to bite here. They're around these water lilies a lot. Now, we're 38 minutes into this video, and I know we haven't caught all the fish that I'd like to fish and show you the species here. So, we're going to hang out just a little longer and see if I can't catch some of them for you so that I can show you what some more of these guys look like. I think we've only got three species left that we need to get. So if you can give me just a few more minutes, we'll figure this out. And I'll show you where these guys are. Okay. 
Okay, let's go over here and throw down here and see what we get. Okay. like we got another rod going. Let's see what we got. Uh, it looks like a smaller fish here. Oh yeah, this is what I won the other species. This is a silver bream. We caught it. So now we just need the young carp. And the uh, young carp, as well as the um, young pike, northern pike, and yellow perch. So we're doing really good here. And we did some, uh, at the beginning of this video, we did do some, that's a silver shiner. So we did do a little extra work on talking about things and the setup and that kind of thing. So I think that's important. Um, you know, we can show you fish all day long, but uh, showing you, kind of helping you out, giving you some pointers and what we're using and that kind of thing. I think that's important too. So let's see if we can't. I'm going to try a little bit of corn here and see if that helps. Or salmon eel balls. Uh, semolina balls. We're going to try a semolina ball. See if we can get something. Okay. Let's see, as you can see, that the fog is burning off, and you're starting to see things better. Okay, let's, let's throw out here and see if we can bring it back and see if we'll get anything to hit it. Anyway, I hope my sound quality is better tonight. Um, and as I go along here, like I told you guys, we're going to have a lot more changes, a lot more things are going to be going on. And I'm going to have to get down to my other spots to catch these northern pike, so... Um, anyway, the young common carp are easy to catch. You can use them on, you can use almost anything that you want. Uh, worms, corn, peas, in the same location, you can catch the common carp. Um, probably should have kicked it up a little bit, um, you know, during the day. I should have probably kicked it up before I started this video, but I don't want to go over it very much longer. I would like to catch a pike at least for you before we leave. And it uh, looks like we got another fish on. Now, like I said, you're not going to bank lots of money. Uh, it's going to be a slow process, but if you got a smaller net, this is a good place to be. Um, you can fill it up if you fish a while here. Uh, see, two pound fish or carp. Um, there are a lot of young carp out here, though. Um, earlier today, I fished in the middle of the day and that time out in this area here fishing different baits and I did catch young carp so they're out here as well so all you have to do is just get out here and fish um, you'll catch them use some of the regular common baits uh, you'll catch them on that common baits are easy and simple for early players uh, they're easy to get they're less expensive and you get a lot more of them um, but anyway, I want to, before I close this video out, we're at 44 minutes, so I want to go down and see if I can show you um, the pike and how I catch them real quick. So let's get the rod stand up and let's take off here and go down this way. Now another place you can catch fish, these
carp and stuff like that, you can do it here and round in here. Put your stand up, go right out there and just go in the middle like I told you. Um, see where you're looking at? You want to get in the middle spot right in here in this deeper spot when you fish. So that's another place that you can go. But let's go on down here and let's see if we can catch you a pike real quick. Um, I catch pike all over here. There are some lily pads down this way. I can also, as you can, as you'll see here in a minute when I get down here, we can throw back up that way and we will catch some too. But let's see if we can catch one real quick. And then we're going to end this video for tonight. <laughs> Sorry that it's a little bit longer than I'm thinking, but um, hopefully you didn't have to put up with my squeaky voice that you couldn't hear very good tonight, as well as. Hopefully this gives you some information on this lake. I think a lot of people think because they're European lakes that they stay away from them, but there can be some enjoyment down here too. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And if you get tired of the same old, same old, uh, it's sometimes good to mix it up. Now, see, we had a strike. Um, some of them are pretty small, so this one-odd hook is hard to get them on, but hopefully we'll get one here in a minute. Okay. Let's scooch on down here a little bit and get closer to those lily pads. Uh, but I love Fishing Planet. I've been on it for about three years now and uh, don't claim to know everything. But I can tell you this, if I don't have the answer for you, I have a lot of friends and stuff that we can find the answer out um, if you're having issues. A good place to find out a lot of information if you'll go over to my friend and fishing partner, Double Talk. Just like that. It's just D-B-L-T-A-L-K-73. Look him up on Twitch. He normally spring streams in the mornings around 9 or 10. You can get on there. Start following him. You can ask him questions. He'll answer those questions or he'll tell you which videos to go look at on YouTube if he doesn't remember. Um, but he has a world of information. Been fishing for quite a while. Three to four years on the planet. And uh, he's logged several hundred fishing hours on here. He knows a lot of people on here that he's gotten markers and advice from. And he's learned the game. And uh, that's another thing, too. If I've got a marker that will help you, I have no problem if you become my friends on Fishing Planet. I have no problem sharing those markers. Also, I wanted to let you know you can also find us on Discord. Um, we're Mizzou Fan Mike Gaming. I do have a number, and I forgot what that number is. But we're also on Steam, too, and it, sometimes it helps being friends on Steam. Um, you can find me on anything out there that I'm on under Mizzou Fan Mike Gaming. So um, let's see if we can go on down here. I know we can catch one. I've had a few strikes before we put this video. Guys, I really would like to show you. They're here, and you can catch them. This is the best way to catch them. I've tried spoons. I tried some other things, and this was the key. I caught him here on this more than anything here. So, tried even float minnows or shiners, and they didn't seem to hit either one of those. So, this is probably the best and fastest way to catch them. So, and I know I'm getting a lot of um strikes but no fish yet but let's see if we can get be successful here it's kind of a to catch these kind of fish with top waters you kind of got to watch for the hits um, sometimes they'll give you a, a let you know they're going to hit because you'll see the ring behind them and you can kind of time your your strike with it you know so Wow. Well, let's go this way again. But don't be afraid to ask questions or try out new things, guys, because uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. This is a free game. However, there is a lot of DLC in game purchases. Um, you really don't have to do that um, unless you just want to. Um, it's better to be in progression, go through these lakes, pay your dues, fish a lot, build your cash up, 
level up quite a little bit before you try to move on to other venues. Um, and then you don't really have to buy a lot of DLC, um, but you can. Um, I've seen level five or six players um, go and get a DLC from Maku Maku and get down there and be absolutely totally lost and not really have a lot of fun because, you know, they can't, um, they don't have enough money or cash or they're not, oh, they don't have the equipment to handle that. So, um, they do say we're, we've got another lake coming up. It's called Bolivia. Um, I forgot what the other name for it is, the, the name of the river itself, but it's supposed to be a bigger one than Maku Maku and Brazil and also supposed to have some sunglasses. There we go. I think that's uh, what we're looking for here. Yeah. There he is. They get a little more active after the first couple hours, as you can see. So there we go, guys. Um, this is Mizzou Fan Mike Gaming, and hope we've been beneficial to you tonight. Uh, we thank you for stopping in, um, putting up with us, and like I said, if you like what you see, please get over there and subscribe, and hit that like button, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Um, you know, look for us out there, and um, you guys have a good evening, and keep fishing, and keep having fun. This is Mizzou Fan Mike out.